well what up guys it's uber jack here with another video for you today and this one we're talking about a couple of things here um first and foremost i just want to um sort of address the the january slowness i think is the best thing to call it which is what we're knee deep in at the moment um i'm sure everybody across the country most likely don't want to say globally because i'm not too keyed up on other markets but especially throughout the uk uh, are probably struggling now if you're an uber driver or or any sort of private hire driver work that you do it's just um it's just a time of year that, that that we're in and trust me it'll soon resume back to normal so just stay with it guys do what you can don't stress yourself out uh too much about it um but always always keep giving it what whatever you can and um you know you you'll, you'll make you'll make your money no doubt about it um take advantage of the weekends that's where you're gonna get most of your money um and pretty much you know evenings and nights i would say are gonna still be your best bet uh until like the student populations arrive and then you'll get a lot of more daytime fares coming up so apart from that I just wanted to discuss going into the new year what my um acceptance rate was my cancellation rate and my driver uh customer rating so we'll just have a look at that now so we're on a 4.98 rating um currently we've had 493 five star uh reviews out of the last 500 which is pretty good uh just four just five four star reviews and just two three star reviews so 4.98 decent i think um and well it's more than decent isn't it that's that's as good as you're gonna get it really guys it's so hard to get five because you know it's so difficult for someone not to give you a four for for, for just the most pettiest things in all honesty uh so as long as you're above 4.9590 oh, even you're doing you're doing good uh acceptance rate this is an interesting one now um this is probably on the lower end than what it will be because throughout January now I'm going to be accepting way more because um, it obviously is quieter like I'm logged in now by the way while I'm doing this video and, and nothing's coming up uh, probably won't I'll probably have to go and look for it a bit more um, but um, we are on 55% so um, we've confirmed 371 out of 665 trips requested and declined 294 so i'm not too bothered about that that's that's at a decent amount um i want to get that up into the 60s even low 70s if i can if if you're hovering around 50 to 70 i think you're in a good position um any higher than that is sort of you're asking too much of yourself and you could be missing out on better work and any lower than that, I think you know you don't you really don't want to be lower than fifty percent. In all honesty, guys, um, why would that be? In my opinion, and this is another video, this is a topic for another day. But I think personally, the lower you go, the less chance you're likely to get work. Uh, Uber will never admit that, but um, it just makes sense to me. If two cars are sat right by each other and there's a job two miles away. One guy's got a 20% acceptance rate, the other one's got an 80. I think it's going to the 80% guy 99 times out of 100. So you want to try and, when it's quiet, get your acceptance rate up. When it's busy, be more selective. Hover around 50 to 70%. Cancellation rate, I'm on 10%. That's probably the highest really you want, you want to get it. You don't want to be going any lower than 10%, in my opinion. Um... I'm actually, uh, I've actually cancelled 36 trips out of 371. Um, so that's something I'm going to work on as well. Ideally, I want to be around the 5% 5, 5 and under mark. Um, I think that's what you need for Uber Pro, actually. Let's just have a look at the Uber Pro stats now, which, by the way, I am now uh, eligible for Uber Pro. It was an initial rollout for certain drivers to be tested but now i'm under the understanding that all drivers have it and everyone's points were reset on the first of january so let's just jump into that so as you can see there it says blue just click on that so unlock blue points reset on the 31st of march so basically till the 31st of march these points are going to be racking up and they will equal rewards then for the next uh the next term so after the 31st of march whatever level you get to that's what you'll be from the 31st of March then to the next three month, end of the three month window. 
Um, so my star rating's fine, 4.98. I need to get the cancellation rate under 4%, so I've got a long way to go during this time of getting these 600 points. Um, but I think that will that will quickly start coming into play. Um, there's the more trips that I don't cancel on, and um, it'll siphon out the old ones that I did. So that's not a problem. Uh, let's have a look how Uber Pro works, just to familiarise you guys quickly with that. Uh, so if you just click on that, when this loads up now, it should give us a little, a little brief description. So here we go. Your points. Earn one point for every trip. Earn extra points for trips within certain hours. Progress this in the three-month period. So three-point trips are anything from um, 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. You'll get three points for every trip. So you can get through this a lot quicker if you do nights. Uh, and one point trips or anything any other time uh, Give your customers a great service. So they want you a minimum 4.85. I'm smashing it at 4.98 They want you a minimum at 4% cancel rate, cancellation rate as I already covered. I'm at 10 So I just need to get that down and then here are the rewards So you need 600 points to get out of blue and into gold and then another 600 from gold into platinum and then another 600 from platinum into diamond I'm not gonna lie that sounds like a lot to do in three months. Uh, if you want, to, if you're looking for diamond, gold will be easy. Platinum will be something you should achieve, but I think diamond could be quite difficult. You're not going to do that if you're a part-time driver. Uh, you're going to have to be a full-time driver, and I think you're going to have to be mostly working nights to get those three-point trips, in my opinion. But you know, we'll we'll see how it goes. I'm going to keep the videos coming with updates on my Uber Pro ranking. When I rank up, I might just do a video about it so I can keep you guys in the loop. Uh, you collect points during fixed three month periods, points reset after each period. As soon as you collect enough points to achieve the next level of rewards, you start enjoying your new rewards right away. Give great service to continue enjoying rewards until the end of the next three month period. So pretty straightforward, hey guys. Um, as I say, I'm on 48 points out of 600. That's going to be uh, going up and up and up. What I'll probably do is another video closer to the time. Uh, you know, probably like I say, when I've ranked up to gold, I'll do a video showing how that's happened. Uh, but for me, mainly, I just got to work on the cancellation rate, which is straightforward enough. Acceptance rate doesn't seem to be a thing, which is which is cool. But as I said earlier, I think acceptance rate is a thing. They're just not saying it in terms of how much work that you get sent. So, as you can see, I'm on to a really quiet start to the night. I've been logged in now, um, probably five minutes before I started the video, plus the length of the video, and I haven't had a single trip. So I'm just gonna try and get myself some work, take what I can, and, uh, you know, just keep cool, just keep cool, guys. It's, you know, it's gonna be quiet, everyone's in the same boat. You just have to be smart, you just have to be fortunate in some cases. Um, and you just have to stick with it more than anything. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next video. Bye